French settlers right. and the Acadians, first Europeans in uh, this area. They settled in New Brunswick. When did, when did your parents come here? No, my, not my parents. This is well, you, 1600. Your ancestors my first ancestors came to Canada came when? To Canada. Around the 1620s to 1640s. Got it. We don't know exactly. Um, now, because they were French, when the British came, they got deported to France, even though they had lived here and cleared the land. They came back because they'd rather live in a free, in a free society, away from the, the lords and the feudal system of Europe. They'd rather live here where they'd be free men. And so, um, basically, that's the legacy that my family is. And you know, I have had more, I'm not saying, I'm not Canadian, all the way back like that. Um, my grandparents, two of them came from Scotland. Uh, but at the same time, they came here because they wanted to live here. They wanted the rights for it. My great grandfather, he enlisted when he was 13 years old in World War I to fight for uh, this country. He died on a military base with a massive stroke because of, the, uh, because of the sacrifices he gave to preserve our freedom. And think of how many people have died to get us this freedom. Dude, we should respect old style Canadians, and and that, and that's how we get respect from them. I wouldn't go move to Japan exactly. and suddenly say all oh, the samurais are bullshit, all oh, the emperor, oh the whole culture is bullshit. But say what? Are you crazy? You know, you don't do that to to, to, to people, you know, in a country. Now, at the same time, if I do respect them, I hope they respect me too. You know, that's all. That's what I say. Uh, my buddy over there. Yeah. He, he moved here and he loves it here. Yeah. And he he is here standing up for what like what Canada was founded. And that's what I say. If we want to bring in people who are coming in and they're going to become Canadian, I welcome all of them. My problem is people who come here to take advantage of our economy and send money to their family or just move their family here because they can make more money. Right. That's my problem. They don't care about becoming Canadian. Now, you're in favor of controlled organic growth, not just yeah. open borders, exactly. right? Because no, 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 I wouldn't, no. if you if you and I had a house party with 100 people I don't want and we all got family. along, I wouldn't want to just invite 50 people in yeah, off the exactly. street to not be racist, sexist, phobic, or whatever. It's like, no, we've got a good thing going. If you want to let a couple in here and there that fit in and we organically grow, fine. But no country, it's not even racist, it's not no country should do that. No. You know, no, you know, Costa Rica shouldn't, Nigeria shouldn't, Brazil no, no. shouldn't, Russia shouldn't, well, that's, Canada that's shouldn't, thing. nobody should. No, and, and you look at China. Yeah. Okay, and uh, our government's snuggling up to China. So Justin Trudeau, is uh, Canada is one of the only countries that isn't going after this lawsuit against China for damages. We're also one of the only countries that is working with China for their vaccine. Now, I don't want a company, and, and Trudeau also passed uh, the bill that allows Huawei uh, that's the Chinese phone company. Yeah. Into our infrastructure. Yeah. Now I don't get my shirts made in China. What makes you think I want my internet in China, uh, being controlled by the Chinese government? They're working on a vaccine in China. What makes you think I want my vaccines made in China? Well, I know there's a lot of anti-vax people here. Uh, I'm not one of them. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'll sit down and I'll talk to them. If they sure. Do. Look um, into it more. But all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and what I'd say is, if if we're going to do long-term tests on this. If it's going to be made in our country by our scientists, and we know it's safe, then I'm, I'm, you know, if it was something, I would, I would be willing to take. It. I don't. If the government mandated me to take it, I would not be for that. Yeah. Because why are you mandating what I can put in my body, can or cannot put in my body? You know, I, I'd say I'm a libertarian kind of guy. So I think, uh, you know, if you want to do drugs, and as long as you're not harming other people, I really don't care. Yeah. I'm not going to say.